Hello, this is Stuart Fleming, and tonight we're going to work on um, creating some uh, lookups on the view object. Now, if we go to the view object and we select attributes, attributes you can see that we have a number of um, attributes. I'm going to get rid of some of the ones that we don't need, and we're going to keep the ones that we do need. Now, we have job ID and uh, department ID. Now, if we just run the application module as is, and we do run, right click on it and select run, um, in a moment or two, a GUI will pop up and show us our view object and the fields in it. And they will be in simple text boxes. Here you can see that we have the employee view. And it's showing nothing but uh, the text box. And here you can see the lookup. Now, here you can actually go in here and change and uh, change it. Uh, Steven, if I think it's spelled wrong, I can try Steven and come up here and actually, if you move to the next cursor, then you can actually commit it. Save changes. So now that's saved. However, um, we made this as a lookup only, so it shows it only as a read-only type of field. You cannot change it although you can still scroll through it using the scroll buttons. Okay, so we can close that. What we want to do though, is we want to use these lookup objects to create um, more uh, user-friendly type of views. And over here on the, um, let's get rid of the, uh, there, we don't need to have the log running while we're doing this. You come over here and there is a list of values uh, tab underneath uh, the attributes area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that, the list of values name, and we have none selected. This is the data source. Well, the data sources for this one is going to be the um, jobs. So we select jobs and we shuttle it over um, using the middle uh, button. And uh, the accessor name is now that. Now the accessor means to access something we're going to choose the job ID as the um, uh, join, I suppose it were. Uh, the view attribute is the job ID and the list attribute is the job ID. And then we come over here to the UI hints on the tab just above here, and we can choose what kind of list box it is. Cho choice list is a good one. And um, then we can choose the fields that we want to actually show in the text box. So now we have created it. I'm going to save it. And we right click on the app module again and run it. I know this is pretty fast, but um, that's what happens when you do this over 100 times practicing how to do it. Now you can see that when we click on the job ID, we now have a very user-friendly way of looking at it. The data that's stored in the table, of course, is going to be the, um, in this case, string that is done and uh, that's it we'll do the department id very quickly just so that you can see how it's done again choose the list of values press the green button and since there is no specified um, uh, data source for it we're going to choose the lu this time we're going to choose department if you wanted to you could rename it and need to what, what happened there oh we didn't shuttle it over so you have to shuttle it over, move it over, so it's now over there. And there is an edit button here. I'm not going to go into that just now, but that is something that you can do later when you're joining the list boxes. Department ID is going to be the um, under behind the scenes value that's saved in the column. And we're going to put, in this case, uh, I, you know what? Maybe we'll do both. We'll put both in there. Um, and then down here, you can actually um, put some values in. And so now we've saved that. Come over here and save it. Right click on the app module and run it. Now that is pretty darn easy and fast. And we wait. Come over to department, or I'm sorry, employee. And now you can see the numbers that are listed also because we selected them to show. And that is how to do a list box in a nutshell. I hope you have a good evening. 
I hope you learned something. I know this is quick, but um, that's what happens. Have a great night.